My name is Mick Cassidy. I'm one of the show's character designers. So uh, anything character related that comes to the show comes through myself. There are three other character designers as well. I'm Joe Vox. I was fairly involved in the first Star Wars Family Guy adaption. Sorry, sir. Private party tonight. I'm a friend of Dave Navarro's. You're a friend of Dave Navarro's. You saw me here last week. I seem like a cool dude. I saw you here last week. You seem like a cool dude. Move along. Move along. And Move along. I said, hey, you know, uh, the original poster is a painting. And, you know, I think nowadays the natural thing to do is, oh, we'll just do it digitally. We'll do a digital paint. Um, I said, it might be really nice to add that extra texture and just have it painted. And I'd be more than happy to do that for a price. So we've teamed up for the original Star Wars poster, and it's a nice way to work because when I get the drawing, I mean, I could get it close, but it's nice knowing that it's in the hands of Mick first, I think. Essentially, I would lay the front cover out, putting all the elements in the right place, and obviously the posters are, you know, based on the original VHS releases. Our main goal is to make our poster with our fat characters look as beautiful and intriguing as Roger Castell's Empire Strikes Back poster. I think the uh, Family Guy poster is terrific. I just love it. I love cartooning. That's basically how I uh, got into art, I imagine. I just loved anything to do with comic books or cartoonings. And I'm glad that there's still artwork out there, you know, and not everything computerized. It's almost Look right in there. <laughs> Very tired. I start with a, a nice illustration board. I get mixed drawing all taped down, so I, I know it's going to be locked into the same place. And um, I have the poster, Roger's poster, hanging in front of me and I basically have to kind of break down his image to see what came first. And I think initially it was the black sky, the star fields, the ice dripping down in the ice. Um, you know, after I get the painting to a certain point, I bring mixed drawing back over again, and uh, using transfer paper, I kind of place things again. Fader went in first, uh, so Stewie gets in there, and then I did the Han and Leia. And, you know, basically, while I'm doing all this, while I'm laying in more and more of the elements, um, I'm constantly re-addressing the background. And uh, I think the whole process took about a, a week. That's, that's time lapse, so I'm, I paint a lot slower than that. A good movie poster right away has to grab me immediately. If you're looking through the paper, uh, you can look through hundreds of pictures and all of a sudden something will grab you. The design of a good poster is, uh, is something that's going to sell <laughs> sell the product, uh, like Joe. Um, <laughs> you know, Talking about selling products, huh? I'm just going on record as saying I'm not comfortable with this. I think the magic of this Empire Strikes Back poster is uh, the fact that he painted something iconic from that uh, Gone with the Wind poster. I think when everybody talks about this Roger Stell version, it's the, uh, they call it the Gone with the Wind style. When uh, I first was called into the agency, the art director told us about the movie. And my first thought uh, was of Luke Skywalker on the Tauntaun and the very dark, feeling to the whole poster with just Darth Vader behind him. And I did a very rough painting of that, but then we were called back again and the art director explained to us that uh, George Lucas wanted the Gone with the Wind poster feeling and uh, the romance element, which really threw me. <laughs> I, I didn't expect that at all. And that's, you know, Han embracing Leia, just about to kiss, but not quite there. Ah, oh, I'm gonna kiss you so hard, the picture's gonna change into something else. I just like that our characters all look so stupid in those really dynamic, romantic poses. That's and I so think that's the joke, yeah. right? Uh, like I mean, it's, I laugh out loud. I laughed out loud while I was doing the sketch. 
we did have to shift some characters around, but very subtly, just to, in order to, you know, Peter's neck is, you know, this wide, so <laughs> it's not really, I don't think her, I don't think Harrison Ford's neck is that wide, although. Not anymore. I've never met no. a man in person. Tonight, Njo is nearing completion of his painting, and I think it is looking pretty good. I am not the hand that created this masterpiece. Mm, very jealous of that other hand, am I? But I do other things for the master. <laughs> to be truthful, prior to doing the Empire Strikes Back cover, I never really paid much attention to that nice little signature at the bottom. And when I started this painting, I was like, you know what, I, I need to know a little bit more about this illustrator because uh, I'm going to be spending some time trying to mimic what he's, he's done. May the force be with you. Oh, there he goes with that crap again. Keep it in church, man. Everybody knows, I think, his images. You know, the Empire Strikes Back poster is iconic. Yeah. And um, I think his first movie poster job was uh, doing the cover of Jaws. That was a paperback assignment first. So that was done very quickly, the paperback company loved it, and uh, then um, the movie company picked it up a year later. And I did a, you know, what I think was a pretty great painting of Stewie as the shark attacking uh, Lois, the innocent swimmer, and it's now in Seth's private collection of art. So I've copied you twice, Roger. What do you think of that? I think you're great. What an adventure. I'll probably have one or two more segments after this, but the, uh, the painting's done. And I think it looks pretty good. And uh, hopefully you all will appreciate me copying a beautiful poster. You know, for a kid growing up, when all these movies came out, I don't think any movie has affected me more than the, Star Wars, the original Star Wars trilogy. As far as my, uh, my choices to become an artist, uh, and what I've, what kind of artistic field I've, you know, chosen to get into, it all goes back to Star Wars. I suppose we'd like the the fans of the show to, you know, look at the artwork and just know that the whole thing comes from a, a uh, place of a love. labor of love. I guess it sounds kind of cliched, but I, I, I would think all the people, the entire staff, put a lot of heart into what they're working on. It's not just a paycheck. Ain't that right, Joey? Hell yeah, you my nerf herder. You my nerf herder. Should we should probably throw some thank yous out there, huh? Thank you to Mr. Lucas. Thank you to Roger. Are they going to thank us? Thank you to Fox <laughs> for employing us. <laughs> thank you to Seth. Well, Seth knows it, yes. Thank, thank you, you, Seth. Seth. Come here, come on, bring it. Oh, yeah, yeah, hug it out, bitch. Uh, uh, hug it out, yeah, spray that hug all over me. What's wrong with you? Thank you very much for making a funny show and loving Star Wars. Go home.